Okay, back again. Sorry about the interruption, but you know, kids, they don't know boundaries. Or at least you try to teach them. So, back to the block, doing the printing yet again. You're just going to make sure to get an even print that it's going to be like, well, with the foam brush or with the paint brush is still alright. You just make quite a thin layer, but not thin enough that you're not going to get enough paint on there. Get your block, squish it in there, print on, squish it again, print on, turn it around to get the square bit because obviously you're not going to get that around the circles. So again, one, two, and then you got your lovely little blocks. And I did it over and over again, messing up with the paint a bit, but I thought, wow, how cool would that be for matting a photo or something? And I thought, oh, that's actually quite a good idea. But my original idea with the blocks was to cut them out and layer them on top of each other with dimensional tape so that they actually raised up because I had this lovely set of photos of the boys playing with their mega blocks so hence why I didn't use Lego blocks which Lego blocks would still be really really good and plus they're smaller so you could actually like do a type of building or something which would be really really cool and plus if you do it by yourself I'm sorry if you do them yourself then nobody else has got those same embellishments or you know they mean more to you and for me to say that these are actually printed by the blocks that they were playing with is also really cool so if you want a closer look at that layout, that's in Deb's Creations Gallery. Check it out if you haven't already popped on there because it's such a cool place. And what was the other thing I was going to show you? Okay, I did show you the wheels. That's really cool. I did a similar thing but with a coffee cup. It had all these ridges on it and I thought, wow, that is so cool. I'm going to dab that in some paint. So I did that with this layout and it gives, it like breaks up the darkness as you can see, like up in this corner and down around over there. It breaks up that really dark blue but also mimics where the white is in the pattern paper. This is my brother Jeffrey with his little tiny baby sander, isn't he gorgeous? And another thing which I can't do in here to show you is flicking paint. I love flicking paint. The look that you get is just so cool and obviously it's quite easy to do. You just get a big glob of paint on your paintbrush, do it outside on the grass because if you rent like I do, you do not want paint on the walls, carpets or even on the patio veranda because it's quite hard to get off if you don't have poster paint or whatever. So on the grass and just go for it and flick it at the 12 by 12 or whatever you got and leave it up to dry obviously because if you do try and scrap with it you've got these big blobs of paint everywhere. I have been impatient a couple of times and tried to scrap around it and don't do it because then you smear and you forget and you get into the vibe and everything. But this is the layout I did with that with black cardstock and using like a bright green. If you want a closer look at that layout that's also in Deb's Creations Gallery. And... Well, basically just go for it. Find anything that you can see that has a certain texture or even has a story, con well, connects to the story you're trying to tell in your layouts. Use that because anything that makes it more personalized and adds to the story is just perfect because that's what we're doing, isn't it? It's recording for, you know, our next generation to be able to say, oh, wow, that is so cool. They really loved me and they took extra time and effort into it. Well, we hope they do. <laughs> but anyway, um, and if you give this a go before the end of August, which is like the 31st of August, I will send you a random act of kindness to show you thank you so much for watching my video yet again. I'm sorry it's a bit rushed and a little bit late, but as you know, life gets quite hectic, especially with kids. And um, yeah, I think that's all. Um, Next technique I think I might show you besides paint would be rubbings is another great one. So I'll show you that next time. So bye. Thank you for watching.